your science. It is playtime at Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up! <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. <laughs> Hello! Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr. Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr. Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah. I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me. Me. Oh, I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! <laughs> Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. Oh. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up the playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. 
I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Digger World. Peppa and George are visiting Digger World. Digger, Digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr. Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh! oh. <laughs> Now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! 
Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. OK, Pepper. <laughs> Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Pepper. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Pepper's wall. George! <laughs> you naughty piggy. <laughs> Ho-ho! Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun at Digger World. <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal-powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Hooray! <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. <laughs> oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep. Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges. You are fully qualified digger drivers. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, Digger, <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your Digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive Diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. Big the zoo. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. 
But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, ho! lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. Scooters. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. George, come on! What's the matter, George? Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this, with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh! No, George! Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good! <laughs> now push off with the other foot, like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Pepper, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Oh, Wait for me! See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. 
<laughs> Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from Playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to Playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to Playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought us scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Surfing! Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea and the waves. <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever! It's true! <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever! Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> 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 oh, your turn.
turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! What's that? Wave! 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 wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Playgroup star. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> there, finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. Wow. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy, Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star! That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Peppa. And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things. And I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. 
I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <sniffs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. He drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Pepper, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Oh, oh, I've never been so proud. <laughs> Daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Father Christmas. It is almost Christmas. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, we are going to do a Christmas play. Hooray! Danny will be Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wendy Wolf can be an elf. Oh, goody. Can I be a Christmas fairy? <sniffs> Pepper will be the Christmas fairy. I want to be the nurse. I don't think there is a nurse at Christmas, Susie. But what if somebody gets ill? Good point. Susie will be the Christmas nurse. I want to be a snowflake. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you can all practice your parts. <laughs> it is the next day. Pepper and her family are at the supermarket. Daddy, look. It's Father Christmas. Why don't you go over and say hello? Hello. It's me, Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes. We are doing a Christmas play. I am the fairy, Susie is the nurse, and Danny is you. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Will you come and see our play? Uh, I am rather busy at this time of the year. Oh, please. I will do my best. Pepper and her friends are putting up Christmas decorations. <laughs> Father Christmas is coming to see our play. How do you know? I saw him at the supermarket. I saw him at the garden centre, but he didn't tell me. I saw him at the shopping centre, and he didn't tell me. Oh. Pepper and her family have come to the Christmas tree shop. Look, it's Father Christmas again. Hello, and who might you be? Peppa. <laughs> You haven't forgotten. Forgotten? No, no, no. Good. So, you will come to the play. Play? Our Christmas play. Of course. I will do my very best to come. Oh, goody. It is time for the Christmas play. All the parents have come to watch. Are we ready to start, children? We can't start. Father Christmas isn't here. He did say he might be a little bit too busy to come tonight, Peppa. Did he? But look, your parents are here. The show must go on. Snow, snow is what we like. Snow by day and snow by night. And when it snows, it turns things white. Snow, snow, snow. I am the Christmas fairy. Ho, ho, ho. I am Father Christmas. <laughs> I am the Christmas nurse. And I need to check if you are well. Say, ah. Ah. You're fine. Off you go. Wonderful. Ho, ho, ho. Father Christmas. You came to see our play after all. And it's very good. Do you really go all around the world on Christmas night? Yes. How do you do it? With my magic sleigh and reindeer. Wow! 
Can we see your sleigh? Uh, well... I'm sure Father Christmas is a bit too busy to show us his sleigh. It's true. I am very busy. But of course you can see my sleigh. Come outside, everyone. Wow! It's beautiful. What's it like to ride in? Hop in. I'll show you. Why not? A little drive around the car park. Hang on, everybody. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! This is amazing! Oh, my goodness! We're flying! Can you go faster? Hold tight! Whoa! Let's do a loop the loop. Uh, yes. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> George's woolly hat. Today, George is wearing a new woolly hat. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George, or it will blow off. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Little ones. Now, children, play nicely. And, George, don't get your new hat muddy. <laughs> <laughs> we promise not to get George's new hat muddy. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. See you later. Bye bye. Come on, Pepper and George. Let's go down to the garden. Yes. yes. <laughs> George, remember what Mummy Pig said about your hat? Yes, yes, Granny Pig, it will be fine. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a large pile of manure. Ooh, what's this, Grandpa? That is manure. Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. <laughs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Peppa, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Ah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mummy Pig has come to pick up Peppa and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promise not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh... Well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Miss Rabbit's Taxi. 
Peppa and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of shopping. It's for Grandpa Pig. My granny is going away on holiday. Oh, I see. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty ho, hop in. <laughs> I see you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Pepper. Ah. Oh. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Granny wrong. Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. And they say some people can talk for hours without taking a breath. My sister can talk. She can... Hello, taxi service. Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty-ho. Stop! Hello, Mr Bull. Are you mending the road? No, I'm supposed to be mending the airport. But my truck's broken down. I'm going to the airport. Hop in. Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Bye, boss! Hello, Hello boss! Hello, lads! Here's the sand! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> no problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty-ho! There you are, my last taxi ride of the day. <laughs> now you can go home and have a rest. Ha! I should be so lucky. Sorry to catch you waiting. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. Madam Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madam Gazelle. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa! Whoa! Your hallway is a big slide, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. 
everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Ah -ho. Everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr. Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr. Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here! Buzzy bees! <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this! <gasps> it's an owl! Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Ah, ah. You've got bats, Madam Gazelle! Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well... <gasps> Eventually, it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are. It's a tree house. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a treehouse. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves treehouses. Everyone. Once upon a time. Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Pepper, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. We're walking there instead. 
walking all the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragging some fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> But there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Pepper has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? <coughs> ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <coughs> what is that monster? Is it allowed at a sailing club? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grumpy Rabbit! Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> 
I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? We don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's uh... all right, then. <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail. It's that monstrosity again. Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me, me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever. Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats Help. can't sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in! Here we go! Grandy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boy! We're towing the boats to shore! We're towing the boats to the car park, towing the boats to be parked! I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <coughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? About what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, old Bean. You're very welcome, old bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>